I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to riot. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Yes, we're human beings, kids. Are you mad as hell? I'm mad as hell. Can you believe it? Facebook is taking our names away, continues to hide itself in a policy that's just bullshit. We have missiles, tunnels being made over borders and airlines crashing left and right from missiles disappearing in oceans to never reappear again. We got evil greed and corruption politician. Too many hardworking people that should not be poor are poor. You know, that was a great opening from a great movie from 1976, Network. Peter Finch and the great Faye Dunaway, both fabulous divas in their own right. You can find that on YouTube, of course, anywhere on the internet. Just look that up. You can rent that. I highly suggest it. It's great for education. It is an older movie, but it still holds true today, as you can see, kids. Hello, I'm Sister Face, otherwise known as Hector now on Facebook. And of course, HRHSF is all my design names and all those various things wrapped up into one. Basically, my real name and Sister Face initials. I want to make sure you all listen, follow, and support SobelNationRadio.fm. We are a wide range of artists, danceworldradio.com also. Support free internet radio, kids, and your artists. It's a fabulous thing. It's a free thing. So how is everyone out there in La La Land, the world that we reside in? Quite a crazy place we live in today. I want to give a quick thank you out to the Miss Barbara Sobel of Sobel International Radio for giving me and so many artists the platform and a place for our voice and their fabulous music. And now with me on board, who knows what will happen. It's not scripted, kids. I could very well stutter. I'm not always going to say that I'm perfect with my language, and I might not even always be right. But I'm here for you, and I want to help promote you, and I want to help do things for the dance community that maybe have not been done before. For drag divas all over, this is a message for you all, too, right now. You know, it's time, dolls, to tell Miss Facebook and others like Facebook, get the hell out of our business. Me, myself, Hector, Sister Face, that has been around since 1984, had to give them my actual ID. I wasn't about to give them my credit cards, but I guess I just should have because I gave them my state ID, which has everything on it. So basically, there was no reassurance from Facebook, of course, that my 
ID or anyone else's would be held safe with them. I wish they would put that out. And let's all get this right right now from the beginning, dolls. It is Sister Roma and the fabulous children out there in San Francisco that have given this such a fabulous face. And they're going to be going up against a giant soon. And they're going to be definitely um, needing your help through all the social sites. Make your own videos. Promote. Get your voice out. Made it known. You know, I, I, I want to thank a few people. I want to thank Twitter. Because Twitter has been a part of this battle now since last week when they took down the real name police. Some bigot, bigot, just dig it, bigot horrible uh, person or group, whoever they were, that indulged in taking my names down with all kinds of other drag divas and just some um, actual fake names also. But nevertheless, characters and their rights were taken away. And I, I can't even, like, hardly believe it, actually. I mean, it's quite incredible to know and, and, and to think of how much we've all done for Facebook in the last few years, the LGBT community and all of our supporters, artists, performers, victims that need their protection. They do not need to be outed because of certain situations in their life. Maybe they're hiding. Maybe they're ex-government, um, you know, uh, witnesses. You just never know what's going on. So in this fight, of course, us drag divas and trans divas have seemed like we've been really targeted the most, even more so than DJs, although I do know a lot of DJs now that have been targeted by all this. And um, I want to say it's, it's just horrible. I'll tell you what Sister Face feels like. I really put a lot into Facebook and other sites like Facebook, and I have a lot of them people um, that... I put my life into them and they make a lot of money off of us that they do not give us and they still want more money when you have a fan page. Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, I have a page. It's not good enough. I have fans. I have a minister page and I have a sister face page, kids out there in the world. And let me tell you, it's kind of weird when you have friends, when you're asking your friends to follow you and, and to be a fan. I mean, it's okay and they understand because they know you're a performer. But regardless, it's not the same relationship as having your sister face profile, my sister face profile, or HRHSF is what they made me take. I've actually been a victim twice. First, I was sister face. Then they took that away from me and made me be HRHSF. And somehow that got through until the real name police came along and turned my fucking ass in. And it's incredibly just stupid. And I feel like that Facebook, and we all know this, maybe they didn't want to get entangled in such a discriminative thing, but they are pure bigots right now. Regardless of any policy, it's bigot. There's not Lady Gaga being targeted. You don't have 50 Cent being targeted. You don't have anyone that has a, a pseudonym name being targeted that's famous, like in Hollywood, as far as a singer. I mean, shit, that's incredible to think that, wow, we really were targeted. And Facebook is giving, like, oh, we're investigating to see if it was a possible hate crime. Of course it was a hate crime, Facebook. Understand that. So, children out there in the fabulous dance world, artists, performers, comedians, actors, porn stars, victims, people that aren't still talking, that need to be loud, that need to take Sister Roma's hashtag, my name is, and put it on their profile page. You can easily find it now. If you can't, my name is Hector Hoyos on Facebook, was, was also Sister Face in parentheses. You can find it there. It's my name is, copy that, and put it up in support, whether you be gay, straight, black, white, alien, from another universe, a speckle of dust that has an intellect that can do it for us, please just do it. It gives them a lot of hope and much needed energy in San Francisco. The Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence are going to be out in numbers. I wish I could be there, dolls. I'm sure that it is going to be one of the most colorful protests ever. And Facebook picked the wrong group of people to mess with. I want to say something really quick right here and sneak this in. Um, 
Always remember this, Mark Zuckerberg. Always remember this, Facebook. Marsha P. Johnson. I'll say it again. Marsha P. Johnson. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up online on YouTube. It's a free rental and watch it. It's called Marsha P. Johnson. Pay it no mind. Pay it no mind. Do not test a drag diva or the trans diva community that have done so much to be loud for our LGBT communities. We're their mamas. We're the ones that the guys look up to. I don't know what all's going on when people say they don't have a good relationship with all the fierce, you know, circuit guys or the gay guys. As a fierce diva queen, I've always had a great relationship with the guys. I've always felt like, if anything, their big auntie, someone that they can come to and talk to, and you give them fabulous compliments, and they give you fabulous compliments, and we lift people up, Facebook. People like us lift people up, and how dare you impede on our work also. I almost feel like there should be a class action suit against Facebook. Hello, are there any fabulous gay lawyers out there or people that support us that think that also? Isn't this enough of them to be throwing out this hate like this? It's incredible. So anyway, Marsha P. Johnson, pay it no mind. Learn, kids, if you've never heard of that name, Trust, you need to know about it if you're a fierce LGBT doll or a fierce drag diva that wants to be a loud advocate, which I highly recommend for everyone to be in their life. Why not? It's easy to be loud, right? Very easy. I want to tell you what I feel like uh, these days since Facebook made me change my name so many times. Um, I've lost a lot of my friends that don't know who the hell I am. They've never heard the name Hector Hoyas, and quite frankly, my traffic has slowed down. I'm sure a lot of uh, drag divas and trans divas traffic and friends have slowed down because they don't know how to find them. They're used to seeing our names. They're used to our characters. It is a part of my life. Sister Face is an intricate, intricate fabric woven into my soul deep. There is a reason I'm Sister Face. There is a reason in my life that there was a character created for me when I was a teenager through the help of myself and then my friend, my longtime great friend, uh, Barbie Star, Minister Ad Adcock, and stylist and guru who's kind of helped mold me in my style through the years and been a great confidant. He changed my name through a fabulous experience we had named Sister Face. And named me that. It wasn't me, kids. It was someone else. It was almost like divine intervention. It was at the point of, you know, where, where I just in my life met divine as a kid. It was incredible times. Colorful. I had to hide and run from high school because I didn't want to deal with the bullies after school trying to you know, test me to see if my big ass could beat the hell out of them or they could beat the hell out of me. Many fights. Many clawed nails, many pulled hair, girls. It's, and you all know what I'm talking about out there. And a lot of you children that are fierce black children or fierce fat children or us big girls that had to defend ourselves just because we were big even, you all know what it's like. So here's what you all need to do. In my opinion, this is war, war, war. And, um, you know, I, I, I feel uh, hunted. I feel exposed. I feel derailed. I feel dragged out on the street in harm's way. What about my identity safety now with Facebook, with my state ID? I can count on one hand's kids how many people actually have my state ID. Even state and federal government doesn't ask for your state ID. So what you all need to do to get involved with the my name, hashtag my name is, and help Sister Roma and Miss Hecklina and all of the little Miss Mess and hot, hot mess and fierce, all those divas out there that need your help, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., Facebook protest in San Francisco, October 2nd, Thursday. Sister Roma and all the divas will be there, and you need to be there too. Come colorful. Shit, if you've never been in drag, now's the time. Get in drag. Put a wig on at least. Put a colorful hat on, a headdress, 
and march your ass down there in a suit even if you have to. I would love to be there, children, but you know, I just can't. I mean, I don't have time or even that, uh, that uh, please, the funds right now. So I'm here in Hawaii and you have my blessings. I would love to hear from one of you children out there in San Francisco. Sister Roma, give me a message, of a vocal voice uh, MP3 message, please. I'll put it right up in a quick show and get it out to you. Hey, kids, this is International Free radio and pretty good it's real radio kids this like gets exposed all over the place we are syndicated this is sobel nation radio this is sister face again for some of you just dropping in right now i'm a big diva doll been around a long time i have a new song out that is a soft release but nevertheless a fabulous new song produced by the legendary man parish and myself uh, called I'm Old School. I suggest you look it up on the internet. It's on iTunes. Just hit Sister Face and it will come up. I love you for it. I want to promote you all too. I want to make sure that um, you kids are uh, getting heard. Uh, but here's the deal, kids. I'm going to let you know how it is. If you want me to promote your song on my radio talk show slash rant of all rants every few days, bi-weekly, sometimes if, if I can, I'll try to get three out a week, but definitely going for two, making an original edit, make sure that you are, uh, it's original, it's very important, and make sure you're going to want to impress Sister Face, because I don't like putting crap out, I, look, I like fabulous music and supporting fabulous artists as they should and supporting fabulous causes and people. If you want to send Sister Face anything to put on the show, make sure you say, hey, thank you, Sobel Nation Radio, in your message, and get it to me at hrhsf at me.com, and I will try to get it out to the very next show that I can or mix it up in a show that has a theme, maybe. If you're a DJ, like I said, get me your original mix. I'm not here to uh, really support all these different uh, sites. I'm here to talk about uh, Sobel Nation Radio, so get us that original mix and we'll put it out there and possibly we'll be all over so Sobel Nation Radio and um, uh, Dance Nation Radio. So there you go, kids. That's all you need to do. I'm always looking to interview fabulous divas innovators, scene creators, if you want to, uh, if you have a huge event in your city uh, that you need promotion, send me a great MP3, voice MP3. If you want me to interview you over FaceTime, I can get you down on really good, clear audio, and I can get your message out, and I can talk about you. There's going to be a lot of people that I'm going to want to talk to, DJs, producers, music industry people, dance house artists, all that good stuff, kids. It will come in the future. Hey, let's remember, kids, elections are coming up. 2014, dolls, let's not mess with it. We need to vote, people, and you younger people don't need to think that your voice doesn't count because it does, and you have to get out there and vote. We cannot allow our country to be taken over with the Senate becoming Republican, which it could very well happen, actually, right now at this point. And we need to, whether you be liberal or whatever you believe in, let's face facts. You need to side with the Democrats and you need to pick a candidate and you need to make sure that candidate wins and we need to stay in power. Do you all understand? Truly. Oh, so do not ever think in politics, it doesn't matter. I've been a great part of great politics here in Hawaii. I've been a great part of politics in District of Columbia by bringing precedents with rulings against a place I used to work, uh, nations. And, you know, it was incredible. And uh, it changed law. It helped protect dancers and drag queens and future people that had to file taxes in a certain way. It's very important that you get out there and do what you do. We did not get gay rights. You did not even get marijuana going the way it is across our country without people getting out there and being loud. Okay? It's not all about showing up the last two weeks. It's all about getting involved, sending your senators, sending your congressmen, sending your district leaders, sending your city council, your mayor 
mayors, your governor, your lieutenant governor. Hey, send letters, shoot them emails off, and tag that White House every time you can, dolls. Because never think that someone doesn't see it eventually. You only get changed through running your mouth, and there's nothing wrong with being loud. It's all about just getting it done. Just think of the horrors, nation, if our Senate and Congress was both Republican. Good Lord, child, you all children need to get out there and make sure you vote. Make sure you vote, dolls. Hey, like I said, do you have a new track? It's all about getting it to me. It better be fierce. Whether you, wherever you are in the world, if we can't even talk to each other in a language, don't worry. Music spans everywhere. We love promoting good house music here, club music, dance music, circuit sound. We're all about it. And we're all about expansion and experimental too, because that's why I'm here. It's experimental, believe me. So um, get that out. I love icons, I love innovators, and I love legendary people that like to become mentors through, through getting audio out to the world and having people listen to it. My mentor, as you all know, for half this summer, for all the summer, before summer, is the great man Parrish. He really helped me through a lot when it came down to these different mixes of I'm old school. Matter of fact, uh, track, it's not a bitch read. It's a matter of fact track. It's all about saying, hey, you young divas out there, get to know your older divas and let them tell you story and learn from it. And we be all old school and new school together. I hope you all enjoy it. I have a new track coming out also. It's more of a fabulous, very fierce French house dance track, but that's all I can say right now. But it will be coming out soon. It is promoted online, children, if you do need to see it on my Facebook page. Hey, across the internet, children, you can just go to Google Plus on Sister Face, YouTube on Sister Face, uh, Pinterest on Sister Face, I, I, yeah, Sister Face on Twitter, uh, but it's HRH, Sister Face on Twitter. You know, I'm all over. Just type in Sister Face and all your different ways of typing in Sister Face and you'll bring me up, dolls. And like I said, I'm going to be trying to be loud here on Miss Sobel Nation Radio. Fabulous. Thank you to Barbara Sobel. And um, look, let me talk about it. Let me talk about it. I want us all to stand up and stand tall with the ACLU. You could go to HTTP, www.com, uh, www uh, Taco John uh, called. I mean, can you believe? I can't even believe I'm re reading this. Like, Taco John's called me a gaytard.com. Please go there and support. Sign this. This is happening too much in our country. Poor kids, innocent kids at a young age that work for some horrible fast food joint being made to wear some tag that calls them gaytard. Excuse me? Look, when I was in high school and a young kid, I would get in fist fights and horrible trouble because I wouldn't put up with that crap. Look, you bullied kids out there, I don't want you to go back and cause violence yourself. Report, 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 and get everyone involved that you can because you can these days. I support our bullied youth. I was a bullied youth. I know what it's like still because of Facebook and other people every day and my presence on the internet and some of the letters I get privately, what it's like to be bullied. It's crazy. My young life was hiding from bullies, molestation, and crazy, crazy people that me and my mother had to hide from. And it was insane life, but it molded me and created this character, Sister Face. And there's a lot of help out there for you kids. So if you all have a campaign and you're in some uh, news or you need help, you can send me an email at hrhsf at me.com and I'll get it right off quickly as ASAP to who I can to help you um, in need out there. Much love and alohas to you all out there. There are people that love you. If you need my ear, you have it. Do you understand me? So, it's all about this program. It's all about DJs, drag divas, events, promoters, 
LGBT performers, leaders, scene makers, industry people, actors, activists, music production and programs. We're all about promoting the fabulous artists also on Sobel Nation. And I'm learning, dolls. I'll get to you all down the line. I really, truly will. But I got some people to promote. I'm all about it. I'm all about right now uh, Miss Sheena Rose. Miss Sobel Diva, who's been through it with Miss Facebook, another victim. Hello, Miss Sheena Rose. Aloha's from Hawaii, doll. With uh, the Sheena Rose Dirty Cash video shoot coming up soon, October 26th, I believe. Just check Facebook, kids. You can just type in literally Sheena Rose Dirty Cash video, and by that time, something will probably come up. Hey, get into it. It's fun if you can, right? It's on one of the event pages, by the way. Sheena Rose Dirty Cash video shoot coming up October 26th. And give any one of us divas some fierce respect and love out there if you can, kids. Change your name for a week if you can. Let's see if Facebook reports you. Let's see how far this is going to go. This is crazy, right? Oh, it's insane. I want to promote always my fierce favorite divas that always promote me and that are always awesome, that our whole world loves as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, Lady Bunny is the doll. I want you all to know Miss Lady Bunny uh, featured in a Groove Addicts tune called Lately. You can get it now on iTunes. I want you all to go out there and check it out. You can go to Lady Bunny Forever on Facebook. Um, I don't know if the Lady Bunny's on... She's everywhere, dolls. Type in Lady Bunny, but you need to get on it. And that track lately is fun. It's awesome. It's very uh, like a dance tune uh, completely. And it's by Groove Addicts. And, of course, featuring our fabulous, nasty, dirty Lady Bunny that everyone loves so much. Hey, out there, check her out. Type in the internet, Lady Bunny. And you're bound to find somewhere that bitch is performing. She's fierce. Let's see who else I want to give a little shout out to right now. Definitely, I want to go in and I want to talk about Miss uh, Anaya Day doll. Oh, climbing up the charts with Lee Dagger featuring Anaya Day, Shelter Me. It is number two. I think it might be number one by next week, if not already, actually. That's Miss Anaya Day, a fabulous Sobel Nation artist that Sobel Nation loves to promote. I want to also give a fierce congrats out to the doll, Alternate. That's right, my doll from back home that I miss dearly all the time, traveling all over the world, stationed basically in Ibiza, turned out the whole summer. She's coming back for her fabulous sugar parties and the reunion coming up, Wayne Davis birthday bash in Baltimore. If you don't know who Wayne Davis is, dolls, I'm quite sorry. Legendary Odell's legendary, uh, that's the better, better, better children. Y'all got to get out there and learn who these people are. Every town you live in, learn how to learn the better children that are out there that are turning your town out and that are making this scene still go. Whether you be in the club scene or just a fabulous child who's an artist who likes to be all up in it. All up in it, divas. That's what I call it. So, let me see. Um, oh, yeah. So, Miss Alternate, The Rush, David Harness Remix. You want to check that out, dolls, okay? Hey, exclusively out on Track Source. Exclusively out on Track Source. Um, who else? Like I said, Wayne Davis Birthday Bash coming up. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. You want to check that out on the internet? Just look up Wayne Davis Birthday Bash. You'll bring it up. Look up Deep Sugar 11th Anniversary Part 2, Saturday 10-4. Uh, we want to hear it coming down. All right now, children. I want you all to be there. Miss Alternate, Ibiza to Baltimore, homecoming. She will be there, and you all need to be out and seeing her. Love it. Who else we got down the line here today? Look, children, I live in Hawaii. It's paradise, and from paradise, it looks crazy out in our world. And I want you all to know that I just love you all. Look, some other fabulous artists you'll find always up on here is the Zig Zig Spudnik. And darlings, if you all are not familiar with any of the names I'm talking about, you need to be learning who they are and know their history. Hey, Miss Stonebridge and Be Kind with Crystal Waters. Crystal Waters and Stonebridge with Be Kind. 
Um, we want to be catching many of the Sobel artists and their schedules always and charts on the SobelNationRadio.fm site, children. Um, I'm going to slip in a few things real quick. I'm kind of like that. I'm kind of off the hook. You know what I'm saying, children? So, um, you know, always talking about uh, things um, in the past and things you children need to know. And it's important that you all know that Joan Rivers and Robin Williams, regardless of who else has disappeared in the last few months, we've lost a... Uh, two identities, two personas that have left a hole in my heart because I came up with both of them as a kid and much, much inspiration. And I just wanted them to know and their, and their, their energy to know that we need them. We need them here looking over us. And hopefully if there's not a heaven, it, hopefully there's the energy and hopefully that energy does something, whether it be somewhere else in the universe doing for good or another life somewhere in another dimension or another time. I, I just miss uh, Joan Rivers so dearly and, and really still words cannot describe losing her and Robin Williams. So I just wanted to kind of get that out there too. Um, you know what I was also thinking about since they both died? I was thinking, make sure if you die, children, and you're going to be cremated, no matter who you are across this world, make sure your cremation is not mixed with some group, like a group cremation. Oh, no, no. You take that extra couple hundred dollars or stand guard and make sure your ashes are your ashes by yourself because we cannot have in bad bigotry and other people's bad energy and... Uh, Oh, no, no, no. We can't have that. Unless you're going to be some fabulous tree, some formation, and that makes it a tree thing. I'm just, I just wanted to slip that in there. That's from the minister. That's from minister. Yes, minister HRH, SF, sister face, the ordained minister, sister face, HRH, sister face on Facebook, and my website, hrh-sisterface.com where you can find if you're coming to paradise or you want me to marry you in you sta your state let me know you get me there and I'll marry you I love marrying people with sister face it's a fabulous 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 thing and I love being a part of people's lives being blessed what else do we have here on my mind right quick here today this is kind of just a quick introduction to show children so hopefully you've been kind of enjoying me just ramble on about a few things. Oh, children, educate yourselves in good music. Look, I'm here to I'm here to support Sobel Nation, not anyone else. But I do love. We're gonna give a shout out to Miss Dragbook.com, and I and I'm very supportive of her. And I'll get better up on her. I've just been busy, but I do like that there's a as a site. It's actually been around a little bit, but I do like that it's out there for these fabulous divas. And I do love that there is the LL.com, LL.com. I don't know if I'm saying it right yet. LL or LL.com. And thank you for the invite. Hey, I only had five invites. I didn't even know it. I just started sending them out, children. So please don't be all too pissy. I did request. Let's see if they give me a few more. I'll let you know. But then I don't want their system to crash. Look, give them time. Some of the pictures aren't posting as quick right now and stuff. But that's because... Because they're so swamped right now. Thank you, Facebook. And look, they're not going to own any more information that you've already had out there anywhere in the world, children. So give them a chance. If you don't like them, leave them. Children, you know, I'm all about the education and I'm all about getting out who's an asshole out in the world, too. It's called assholism. It's a thing that affects our world. And there's a lot of people, like Kanye West, you suffer assholism. Senator Mark Sanford from South Carolina, you really suffer from assholism. John Boyner, you are assholism. Jin Jin Kim, <laughs> Jin Kim Il. Um, Kim Jong Il. Uh, let that American prisoner go, child. Don't think we're not paying attention to you over there. We just try not to give you a little roly tubby ass. And why you think you're feeling so sick? This is Radio America telling you that you're probably sick because you're a diggit. 
And that's not a good word, children. That's when you really just don't know what to call anyone in a bad situation or a, a bad spot. And you're just like, this is dig it. It's not a cute thing. And it can be used towards a person, too. Like, you dig it. And it's not like Bob Marley, children. So I wanted to get that out there. Oh, and we all know right-wing Republicans that can't change and become different are all suffering from the most assholeism of them all. Message number two, I love, I don't watch TV really, I really don't watch it that much, children, but um, Project Runway, I love her, she's very entertaining, but can we just um, not do repeats anymore? I figure once you've been on the show and asked to leave the show because whatever reason, Avita Zane, you know, um, don't have him back, isn't there enough people in the world where like we should have all kinds of people, like, up there that haven't had a chance already. Just saying. I'm just saying. I love your show. I love Project Runway. I'm not going to stop watching it. And I want to talk about Miss Russia and others like Miss Russia. A fabulous quote from the Candy Darling, of course. She'll come to a bad end. She will come to a bad end. Hey, this has been Sobel Nation Radio and Sister Face, your minister of sound and fabulous energy I'm sending out to the world and all you fabulous dance artists. I want to talk real quick about who I like right now on Miss YouTube, and you need to go find. You could find him on his own webpage also. His name is Delirious Music. Dot com, a fabulous finder of great vinyl 45s, European uh, disco and future and psychedelic and just great, funky, funky, fierce stuff. And you will not be disappointed, any of you children out there. I want you children also that educate you younger children because I'm feeling some of you don't know who some of the people were that paved the way in music and paved the way for you to be able to listen and, and sample the way you all do, whether it be house music or hip hop or experimental or whatever, when you're borrowing sound. One of them is Sylvester. Look him up on YouTube, if anything. Look him up, period. Wikipedia style, Sylvester. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Fabulous. You gotta look them up. Lolita Holloway was a fabulous friend of mine, knew her for many years, was enlightened just to be able to know her and introduce her. I need you all to go out there and look up Miss Lolita Holloway. Miss Nina Simone, fabulous, legendary. You want to know who she is if you're an activist. Listen to her music. Get lost in it. Enlighten yourself. Etta James, you gotta go listen to Etta James, and you gotta go be impressed by it and turned out by it uh, uh, as a woman, as a black woman, as a, a, a minority, as anything that you are different in our society. You will love Etta James because she lets you have it. Look, children, these are legends. These are people that you should be knowing about and learning about, or I wouldn't even be bringing them up. Remember, I want some artists. I want some re-edits. I want some interviews. I want some drag divas that need to get some messages out. Relevant, please. Relevant. H-R-H-S-F at me.com. This is Sobel Nation Radio, and this is Sister Face. Good God, dolls, the universe is fast. Just as fast as I said my name. Here we go, children, out here in the world. As I'm bitching, as Sister Roma and all her fabulous people and her mission in San Francisco, I'm sitting here recording, and I'm realizing as I'm looking on the across the internet that, holy shit, Facebook is issues a mea culpa to drag queens and others over real name policy. This is an update from the SFIST source um, contacted by uh, Valley Wag, says Facebook, is planning to a referred name policy. The company is not likely framing this as a reversal, however, and it sounds like they may craft an exception for performers and the LGBT community. Holy crap, drag queens, fierce divas win again. 
They do it again, children. I'm telling you, Sister Roma, fabulous. <gasps> Congratulations, all of you. Heck, Lena, Sister Roma, all you fabulous people that sent in letters and signed uh, uh, petitions and, and just were loud. And, and it looks like, actually, that instead of this... Uh, this uh, uh, protest tomorrow that I was just advertising about, that it's going to be a, um, I would think, uh, more of a, we'll see, still do your thing, still be loud, kids, listen to my message, don't put up with it anymore. And, you know, uh, but it looks like tomorrow um, they're going to be more of a celebration down at the festivities um, instead. Here, let me pull it up right now for you kids that don't, um, okay. This is directly from the My, my, my Name Is um, campaign. I'm just stunned right now that fierce drag divas and people all over and our supporters accomplishes so quickly. Great news. At our meeting Wednesday, Facebook acknowledged the flaws in their real names policy, stating that it was never their intention to require legal names and that everyone should feel free to use the names they go by in real life. We're also thrilled to report that Facebook Chief Product Officer Chris Cox issued a sincere apology to our communities and agreed to take concrete action in the coming weeks to amend the enforcement procedures so that we won't have to deal with trolls again or show ID, we couldn't be happier. So we're turning this protest that we were all mad about, that I was mad about, that Sister Roma, you were mad of at home and our supporters were mad at, and they're going to make this a victory rally tomorrow. Please come out to celebrate with us hear more details, and remind the world that we're united when we can win. Thursday, October 2nd, 12 noon sharp at San Francisco City Hall, kids. So instead of a protest, it's going to be a victory, but you're all there for the common cause. So I guess it's a protest, but it's a victory. You know what I mean? And it's fabulous. And you all should be sending out thanks, Chris Cox, uh, sincerely to this guy and to Sister Roma, and, and you should still use the my name is, uh, you know, hashtag, please do on your picture, on your profile picture, change that up. You can go to any one of us fierce divas and know which ones were victims just by looking and seeing our supporters with that fabulous purple hashtag my name is as your profile picture. Wow, it is amazing. Uh, I'm actually, uh, uh, this is amazing. I'm reading from this My Name Is Victory Rally. Facebook agrees to change real names policy. Children, I am just blown away by this right now. So, you know, for all you who don't know and why I was bitching in the beginning and kind of even stumbling over myself with not even so angry lately, I must admit, kids. So, you know, you all know that Facebook has recently been cracking down on drag queens, other performers, and many others. They're uh, locking us out and our profiles have been changed and we've had to open up pages and pages just aren't the same. A lot of us have even started jumping ship, unfortunately, and finding some fresh new ideas out there like at LO and, and drag book and Google. And let's not forget Google Plus because, you know, they're fabulous. And you all should be joining Twitter because Twitter came out in really big fighting for us and got rid of that uh, yeah, uh, that real names police bigot and got them off there and banned them from their site, which was fabulous. Unfortunately, a lot of us were victims. But it does seem like Facebook uh, chief uh, product officer Chris Cox and Facebook itself has taken this very seriously and realized what they got into. And even though I'm screaming, I actually have to give out a fabulous thank you to Facebook. And um, I'm still going to be very loud. And I hope you all understand that. And, and until things are done and done and said that they're actually done and we see that, that will be just a fabulous thing. And Facebook, how awesome of you to be on the side of equality to take the heart and time in your work and your business to 
not only being salted quite a bit in the last few weeks, but now to resolve and bring together. The best way forward always is to come together and resolve an issue, no matter how mad each side gets, how loud I've gotten, how loud we all have gotten. We're accomplishing it. Don't stop being loud ever, kids. It's a fabulous thing to be loud. Just be right when you be loud and things fall into place. I'm quite shocked, actually, that this has fallen into place so quickly. I mean, can you, could you even just imagine that uh, t tomorrow was supposed to be a huge uh, protest, which in essence it probably still will be. But now, come out and celebrate, children. Come out and celebrate from 12 to 1 p.m. instead of 11. I'm sure some of you children are going to get there at 10 a.m. in the morning. How fabulous. I wish, I wish I could be there. I really do. So look, children, this is Sister Face, and I've loved talking to you, ranting away, becoming informed on my own show as it's happening in real life, real time. And um, I love you all for being here. And I thank you, Sister Roma and the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. And um, everyone in California and all over the world who has been very loud um, for this fabulous cause. It is a beautiful thing when we all can come together and to cause great change through people's voices, thoughts, penmanship, emails, calls, consistent little videos on the internet. It makes a difference. We need to use the same type of power children that Sister Roma has used, many divas around the country use, many people use, our supporters use, I use for most of my life now. You've got to be loud to bring good change. It's a good thing to bring good change, equality, Everything stands for good when you can do these things. We actually wind up loving more of each other when we accomplish such things together. We bridge old and new school when we do this. Everything is harmonized when this kind of action, support, and like I said, just the word action comes together to do this. This is Sister Face at Sobel Nation Radio. I'm going to get you off to Man Parish, a little message from my mentor. I think I was supposed to do it a while ago, but my God, children, I just got blown away as I saw this literally right in front of me. Let's hope I can get this recording out to you all because it would be horrible if, <laughs> if I couldn't because I had to extend the show a little bit because of the news. I love you, world. I want to hear from all of you fabulous new house music artists, anyone who has original edits, who'd like to be interviewed, that thinks they're all that. And believe me, I love good music. I don't like crap. So please don't send me crap. I'm just being honest. I won't really listen to it more than a few moments, I tell you. But I do love good music. I do love a lot of the artists that are out on the internet. As long as you have a web page, I can put you on. As long as you have a fabulous message for Sobel Radio, I have a fabulous spot for you, and I love to talk to drag divas, I love to talk to icons, I love to talk and educate, educate myself and others. Thank you very much from the paradise that I come from, Hawaii, and Barbara Sobel, thank you very much, and Sobel Nation Radio dot FM. Good evening all, aloha! Hey, darlings, it's Man Parish, and I wanted to congratulate Sister Face, first of all, on this fabulous show. Um, I'm working for a company called 8DM. That's the number 8, the letter D as in dog, M as in man, and it's www.8dm.me, not .com, but .me. We're giving away some free beats and samples for you guys. All you have to do is go to 8dm.me and look at the thing called the Tri Pack. And that will, you, you follow the link, you put it in your cart, you download it for free, and you can go make some beats and stuff like that. So I want to celebrate Sister Face's um, new show. Congratulations, my darling. I love you to pieces. And um, go download some beats and send us some links, and we'd love to hear what you're doing. This is Man Parish. Love you.
Peace out. Well, that is Fierce Man Parish, my favorite mentor and someone who I've learned so much from and only know that I will learn so much from more in the future. I want to thank all of you for the support that I've had in the last few weeks with a lot of music that I'll be have coming out in the next half a year. And it's been a slow process, but it's been a learning and a fabulous process. I really do only like to work with fabulous people and learn from fabulous people, and it's been a great blessing. I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all out there for listening. This is Sobel Nation Radio at sobelnationradio.fm, Sister Face, and you can find many fabulous other artists on Sobel Nation. I am HRH, Sister Face, and hopefully on Facebook because of you, Sister Roma, and all the fabulous support out there. We can all be our names again soon enough and just be done with not seeing a name that I don't need to see unless it's on a check. <laughs> Love you and aloha, kids! <laughs>